Hi, I'm Joy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you are a returning viewer, it's good to see you again. Today, I'm going to add some more fun lights to my car. I gotta tell you, I have never, ever, ever accessorized any of my cars until I got my Model 3. I don't know what it is. It's just a fun car. And because it has such a minimalistic interior, it is very easy to add little touches to your car and make it more personalized. So today I am going to add these LED light strips along my center console. Fun! If you remember a while back, I changed my footwell puddle lights for the driver and the passenger side the front side to purple because it's my favorite color then i thought well why not there are no other instrument lights inside the model 3 except for the lights coming from the display and the footwell lights why not brighten it up a little bit <laughs> with these led lights so i'm going to give it a try and see how it works out so supposedly this is pretty easy to install i will link the product information down in the description so you can also check it out if you're interested so the package comes with these strip lights so one for each side and then you connect these to a controller like this and then you plug it in to your 12 volt outlet right in the center console it gives you a, this little tool the spudger to make it easy or easier for you to insert these because it's not going to be easy and they also provide installation videos on their YouTube channel and on their website. So you can definitely look at it. So I watched it a few times and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it will go well with me. So let's check it out. Okay, here I go. And I'm sorry if the camera angle is not optimal because it's hard to do a one woman show without a camera person. But basically, there's this end that goes up and I'm supposed to squeeze this part in between these and put them in. So let me do this side because I think you guys can see this a little bit easier. All right, here I go. I got this tool and I'm going to sort of pry this open and try to insert this in there actually no, it's not that bad it's not that hard to do okay I just push it all the way up and then for the rest of it I just have to make sure I tuck them in Certain parts are a little bit difficult than others, so you do need to have some patience tucking this in. And you go all the way down to the inner arms of the center console. One side in, and now let me do the other side.
Okay, both sides are inserted. It took me about seven minutes because I had to really push it in there just to make sure that they stay put. But let me show you what it looks like near the armrest. Now they're both in and I'm going to connect them to the controller. And by the way, if you're curious about what this is, this is another cool accessory that I found. You can check out the video somewhere up here and learn about this. But now let's get everything connected and see what happens. So all I have to do is just plug this in there and then tighten this little knob. So now it's in there, making sure it's tight. And then this other side, do the same thing. Great, now they're both in. And then the final step is to connect everything to the power source. So, plugging this in to the controller. And then this goes into the 12 volt outlet right underneath the center console. And fingers crossed. Ooh, there's actually a little button here, on off button. But I don't know if you guys can see, it's blue right now. This is looking pretty sweet. Oh, this is really fun. I like it. But right now it's kind of hard to see the whole thing because it's still bright outside. But I will come back when it gets dark and show you guys what it looks like at night. These lights also come with an app that you can customize different colors of light and change lights when you are speaking or when your car is playing music. It's dark now and you can see the lights. It's actually supposed to be purple, but it looks bluish on the screen. And this is what I set in the app. That's purple. But we can play around with this. So let's try the style. And let's do purple strobe flash. Ooh, fun. Let's do yellow gradual change. So you can set the speed to be fast or slow. You can also dim the light if it's too bright for you. And you can also make it super bright. This is so fun. And then the mic function, I found out that right now it's set to phone mic, but there's an external mic that is built into the controller. So now whenever I speak, it's going to flash. How fun is this? So cool. And then you can also set schedule. This will actually power down when your car goes to sleep because then it's not supplying the battery power. But if you want, you can have this to have schedule on or off. You can set timer here, which is pretty convenient to do. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to leave this running in case it's draining your battery, I don't think it's draining that much, but in case that you are concerned, you can switch it off in the app here. And it's going to turn the lights off and then you can turn it back on or you can manually do so by going to the 12 volt 
plug where there's a red button then you just press on the red button that's how you can manually turn it off directly in the car and then turn it back on they also have these lights for the dash but that's just gonna be too much for me so this is a perfect addition to my model 3. i hope you found this video interesting and that this will inspire you to do some fun things with your model 3. thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I will see you next time and God bless you.